Captain, your room is ready. Any idea how long this is going to take, nurse? The doctor will be able to provide you with all the information you'll need. You must know I'm very tired. Maybe you could give me an estimate. He'll be out in no time. I get more privacy here than I had at OCS. <laughs> it's what every pilot needs. A diary to spill all his secrets into. All business down here, I see. All right, Captain. The doctor will be in shortly. In the meantime, you can put that on. Dear Joey, I wanted to surprise you when you got home, but I can't hold it in any longer. We're gonna be parents. I still can't believe it. I know you're not with me now, but I take comfort in the fact that I know you're always here in spirit. I'm so happy our child is going to have such a strong father she can look up to. Yes, I have a feeling we're going to have a little girl. I miss you and love you more than my heart can bear. Hurry home so we can tell everyone. I want you here to help me with the chaos that will ensue. Captain Joseph A. Carter, pilot in the U.S. Army, a man who's dedicated the last nine years of his life in the service of his country that is a calling second only to a pregnant wife back home. And whilst two superpowers tiptoe on the border of a nurtured conflict, Captain Carter finds he's inherited the role of a man alone in a room buried in a top secret military installation, which for all intents and purposes, doesn't exist to the general public. A man who will soon find out the dangers of being just that, a man alone in a room. Come in. Ah, doctor. Captain, how are we doing today? I feel great. <laughs> Never been better. Any nausea, vomiting? None. Notice any fevers? No. Any muscle aches? No. Open light for me. Any issues with memory since you got back? No, what's going on here, Doc? Look, I just got back from a mission. I feel fine. I'm not sick. Looks it. It's just protocol. All right, then. Am I free to leave? Not quite. Although your physical, blood work, and psych evaluation all check out, we have to keep you here for a full 24 hours. you got to be kidding me. Look, Doc, I've had a long day already. I'm well. My wife's at home. We all have people we answer to, Captain. As I said, it's protocol. Can I see my crew? I'm afraid we have to keep you three separate. Well, how are they? Well, they're fine. They reported much the same as you. So they have to be locked in this place for a full day, too, then? You've heard of General Ramsey. He'll be on the other side of that glass in about 20 minutes to debrief you. 
You'll be accompanied by our clinical psychiatrist who will also be on call if needed. If needed, huh? Unexpected missions are stressful. Even the sharpest minds are vulnerable. Only looking out for your best interests. Otherwise, sleep is advised. Thank you for what you did earlier this morning. You did your country a great service. I appreciate that, sir. Now, why don't you tell me your account of what happened? Yes, sir. Me and my crew began the day with a training exercise in a Sikorsky CH-37B, Mojave Aircraft, number two airframe. 0800 ground control vectored us to a new mission, not part of pre-flight checks. When we asked for confirmation, control confirmed an in-flight divert. And I'm planned to vert. Did they tell you the nature of your mission? Yes, basically. We were to retrieve what they believed to be a technology of foreign intelligence. The vector took us off the coast and inside the marine layer of fog. Once at the coordinates given, we performed a routine sea-to-air retrieval of the device using the rescue hoist and delivered it to a nearby naval ship, as ordered. By the book, sir. What did this look like? Larger than I expected. Had to be upwards of 300 pounds. And? It was black. Made it hard to spot in the water, though the waves helped. They were frothing over the object. It's texture. You touched it, I presume. I... I remember it was smooth. Metallic of some sort. How are you feeling? I feel fine. Notice any uh, nausea, lights that maybe seem too bright, headaches? Nothing of the sort. Hallucinations? With all due respect, sir, at the rate I've been asked these strange questions today, it's got me thinking I should be worried. Son, you appear fine. There's no need to worry came in contact with Soviet technology that we don't fully understand. Because of this, we're going to take every precaution necessary to ensure your safety. We'll make notes of what you told us in your file. In the meantime, get some rest, Captain. You'll be out soon. Come in. <laughs> Good to see you, Doc. Captain, how are we doing today? Still feel fine. But the time passed quicker than I imagined. Yeah, we try not to keep you waiting too long in here. Any nausea, vomiting? No, I feel like I did yesterday. I'm ready to leave, Doc. Uh, notice any headaches, fevers? No. Oh. Ready to go, Doctor.
Where's my uniform? We have to finish your exam here first, Captain. No, no. See, I've been sitting here fine for 24 hours. Like you said, I'd like to leave now, Doctor. I'm afraid we have to keep you here for a full day, as is protocol. Have you found something wrong with me since I've been here? Hmm? Captain Carter, you just got here. <laughs> That's a good one. No, that sure is a good one, Doc. When I met your nurse here yesterday, I was starting to think that uh, humor didn't exist down here. You asking her to grab my uniform. So you believe you've been here before? Don't believe it, Doctor. I know it is fact. Stop screwing around here, Doc, and let me out of here. Captain, please have a seat. You've had a long Now, morning. Doctor! I'd like to leave now. That's the end of it. Check her notes. She's been writing stuff down since she got here. Her notes will tell you everything. Nurse. Got the wrong date on here. April 9th. It's not April 8th. Good. It's fixed now. Captain, please. Please what? I just want to get out of here. Is that too much to ask? Anyone? Help! Hello? Can anybody hear me? Someone? Anyone? I need help. You won't be able to open that door, Captain. Now you listen to me. Now, I don't know what's going on here, but I want no part of it. I need to get home to my wife. Captain. You were in a mission. This morning? Yesterday morning. And uh, you came into contact with a device? Yesterday morning. That mission happened over a day ago. You mentioned a wife. However, in uh, our file, there is no mention of a spouse. <laughs> so now I don't have a wife? Sick man, doctor. I can show you her. I drew her yesterday. No. 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 No, no, no. Captain Carter, back to your mission. Tell me about the device. It's dark, large, perfect, perfect sphere. I know I wrote in that notebook. And uh, you made contact with it. I touched it, yes. If uh, Dr. Bailey needs to enter the room, you can't become contentious, or we'll have to sedate you again. You're not American. Correct. Where are you from? Arkhangelsk, 
Soviet Union. Is that what this all is? Am I captured? I'm a prisoner of war now? No. You're a patient. What am I sick with? We don't know. <laughs> you just got to the facility. We know! I am not crazy. No one said you were. I want to see my crew. Myers, Pullman. Unfortunately, they're very sick. What you do to them? They began showing symptoms as soon as they got here. Headaches, vomiting. They then became delirious. Delirious. So let's just say I've imagined everything that's happened to me. How much longer must I be in here? Roughly four hours. And I'm free to leave. If you appear in good health, yes. Come in. Captain, how are we doing today? Stay away from me. Captain, what's the matter? What's the matter is that I know what's going on here. Still on a training mission? Hmm? This is part of it? Mr. Carter, your mission ended this morning. You're safe now. Oh, what day is it? What's the date? It's April the 8th, Captain. <laughs> no. No. Of course it is, Doctor. I want to speak with Dr. Volkov. How, how do you know Dr. Volkov? The same way I know you. And you. And you. I've met you all before. Well, are you going to have her ready a sedative for you, Doctor? Yeah, that's right. I knew that's what you told her. Not this time, Doctor. Okay. I can get Dr. Volkov, but please put the lamp down. I don't want to hurt anybody. I just want to get out of here. I can get Dr. Volkov for you. Said, All right. Captain Carter. Four hours, huh? I don't... Don't tell me you don't know. I don't want anyone getting hurt here. Please. Captain, tell me. What's the matter? I just want to go home. To see my wife. We're getting ready to have a baby. You'll never go home. What? I said, you'll be home soon enough. This morning, on your mission, you came into contact with a device. What did it look like? Once. It was otherworldly. I... I've never seen anything like it before in my life. It... Doc, my head, it hurts. These lights, they're too bright. Hang in there, Captain. We're going to make you better.
Come in. Captain? How are we feeling today? Fine. Nausea, vomiting. No. Dizziness. No. Open wide for me. Muscle aches. No. Any memory loss. Now, you're gonna open that door, nurse. Now, to the corner. Don't close that door. Close it. Where are you keeping my crew? Hear me. It's you. We need to get out of here. Captain, we just got here. Joseph Carter. Please, I beg of you, stop writing. I'm not the person you think I am. If you continue to write me, I will contact the authorities. I do not know who you are. Please leave me and my family alone. Captain. Captain. Kate. Captain. Please. Come with us. I'd like to lay down now, Doctor. Barbara asked me to bring this to you. She had to take off early. For Carter? Great. I was just closing his passage for the day. Uh, General Ramsey will be by tomorrow for an update on his case. Excellent. He'll be pleased to know. At this point, the subject is willing to believe almost anything we tell him. I never did thank you for writing this. Remarkable job. Huh? I truly think that was the turning point in his case. Do you believe there'll ever come a time when the subjects hold no more value? I uh, don't.
don't understand. Carter, for example. His mental state is diminishing so rapidly, I'm not sure he'll even be of use to us much longer. Maybe he's had enough. There is nothing more powerful than weaponizing the human consciousness against itself. Remember why we're doing this? We have a war to win. We're under orders not to stop until our technique is perfected. A nurse, did you reset his room? It's all set. One Captain Joseph A. Carter, formerly a man of sanity, driven to the edges of reality under the guise of a greater good. Trapped in a room within a military installation that for all intents and purposes doesn't exist to the general public. Someone who now tragically knows too well the dangers of being a man alone in a room.